welcome back. And of course, as was promised earlier in the show, our first order for today is to get a little bit of a catch up with uh, Grace Kennedy. And joining us for this conversation is Trudy Suazo, brand manager at Grace Kennedy Belize. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Marlene. And of course, good morning to all of the viewers. Um, it's exciting. Um, we're starting again. We're going to actually be four years, you know, doing the Grace and You cooking show. Yeah. So it's really exciting. And uh, a trend that we also have is, of course, our creative Calendar. cooking calendar for um, the year. So this year we're launching on Open Your Eyes. Yay. And it's an excellent combination because, like you mentioned earlier, Marlene, we are now on Fun Fridays. Yes. So um, let's get the cooking on. <laughs> and then after that, you can talk about more exciting stuff um, for your Friday and coming on to the weekend. Mm -hmm. And why I like the move from Thursday to Friday, Marlene, is... I mean, generally, even if you're working on a Saturday, yeah. you will actually want to cook something on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So if you watch the show on Friday and then you know what ideas it is that you have for Sunday, yeah. if that's the only time you really have to do like a, a family meal. Yeah. And the information is still fresh, too. Of course, of course. <laughs> I like that, too, because we get our breakfast done early, and then we can move into the rest mm -hmm. of the show. Yep. So this year, the Creative Cooking Calendar actually features mm -hmm. people who have been... A part of the show. Yes, for 2013. Mm -hmm. And so let me just talk yeah. about the folks who are on the cover. We have Patrick Rodriguez. We have um, Lourdes Collado. Actually, she works at Grace Kennedy. She recently joined the team um, last year, and so we push her in quickly. <laughs> we have Chef Sean Quillen. Well, a lot of people are very familiar yeah. with Sean. And we have Beryl, actually, Hui Chi Li, mm -hmm. and she's Taiwanese, and she also works at Grace Kennedy. Last year, for our feature having to do with the Asian New Year, yeah. she had come on. And we have Aisha Cut Kelvin, mm -hmm. who is my daughter <laughs> and a student of um, St. Joseph's School. What we try to do here, we talk about the fact that we, it's time for Grace, um, family time, spending time with your family yeah. and not only for the women to do it you know for us to get the men involved for us to get the children involved yeah. because if it is that you're chatting with, with each other in the, the kitchen or if your child has a day uh -huh. you know today is breakfast day for me and then they already know what it is that they're going to do and there's so many recipes that children it's can true. get involved in and we have over the years really uh included the children quite mm -hmm. often and mm -hmm. they've come with their own recipes yes i wanted to talk about that because one of the things we saw this year uh was your uh cooking competition mm -hmm that you carry it out within the schools really showcasing that young people children really can cook mm -hmm. will that be uh, on the calendar this year as well of course and the thing about that is that they come with fresh ideas yeah. you know um when i spoke with calbert santiago because mm -hmm. his daughter also was here for the summer fest uh -huh. and she loves cooking not because he does it but i really do think that that has a part to do with it because if it is that you're doing it at home then yeah. it's not work I know when I was younger, when it's time for me to cook, I was like so dreaded. It's like, <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. But then being a part of this show, I've learned a lot. I've learned some actual quick, easy things that you can mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. um, like microwaving your potatoes. I was like, wow. I mean, and it's quicker. Yeah. So I learned that um, there are so many other things that we're able to, to learn by working with people yeah. like um actually i recently learned that you can put the bread in the in the the toaster uh -huh. and then you just grate it and i used to just buy my my oh, bread. your bread crumbs yes, just buy it ah. and then that's an easy way for you to do it also so like i said learning for me and i hope that people are also excited about it yeah. um of course we know that this calendar here we have only uh, 2,300 copies. Oh, we made too. more this year than we did last year. Yeah. But we have a promotion on Channel 5 this morning. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see a scroll at the bottom of your screen mm -hmm. where you can text in for digital customers 101023 and for smart customers 47223. And once you text in, we will be able to send you your Grace Creative Cooking Calendar. Right. So as long as you're out district, it really doesn't matter. We will be able to send those to you. And of course, if you're here, then we will be asking you to pick up your calendar from Grace Kennedy um, at the office. 
So remember too that it comes with quite a number of recipes. That's that's really the highlight of this cooking. Of course, book. there are 12 recipes here and Marlene, I forgot. Last year, of course, we had the 2013 calendar. Uh-huh. And what we have done for the last four years, I believe, is we now do it that you can detach it. So uh -huh. what you're holding in your hands is it's actually the full, the full version. Yes. And then what I did with the one from last year, I separated it. So mm -hmm. now what you have is a calendar that you can choose to throw away. Or some people keep some important dates. And then you can just throw this in a drawer. So you can discard of the calendar when the year is finished, but keep your cooking keep book. Your, yes. And so this is actually a little mini recipe book. So, I mean, we try to be innovative and stuff. So, it's the same thing with this year. So, you have your full year calendar and at the end of the year, you'll be able to just detach the calendar section and you have your recipes that you can just have in a drawer in your kitchen or take along with you in your purse. Now, I, I'm flipping through the cooking book and realizing <laughs> that... The cookbook, I'm sorry. And, <laughs> the uh, calendar. <laughs> the calendar cookbook, sorry. And one, I realized that some of the high school submissions are included. Yes. But two, some of the uh, recipes are so creative. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking at a Yus Hot Wings. Yes. Uh, while we know we drink Yus all the time, <laughs> we may not think of being able to make chicken wings with it. Mm -hmm. How do you keep everybody that you get engaged in the program... Uh, coming up with these creative ideas? few things. We have, let me start with someone like Patrick. Mm -hmm. Patrick Rodriguez is, I, I think he's been cooking ever since he was born. <laughs> and so he tries to be creative or come up with some great ideas and stuff. And the thing is, it, this, they make it seem so easy. Mm -hmm. But all I tell them, for Grace and You Cooking Show, we want to make sure that if you're not even used to the kitchen, all you know is your stove and your pot, uh -huh. we want you to be able to do our recipes. So he has his own creativity. Then you look at Sean, who is an artist in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And um, when I see him put things together or moving around the kitchen, and he's doing a million and one things, and he gets a lot done in 15 minutes, mm -hmm. that's wonderful for us because that's the time we have allocated. <laughs> and again, you have the young folks who, they don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. They just mm -hmm. want to do something quick. But like you said, coming up with creative ways to use things that are what we consider regular. Yeah. So that is what we try to do. And what the high schools did is they had their own competition mm -hmm. and then they submitted a few recipes to us and we were able to then look at those recipes and see what it is that we we wanted to do. So um, Marlene, if it's okay with you, I'd like to start with January. We can yeah, talk go about it. <laughs> okay, so um, for January, we have the seafood chowder, which comes from Nahil Mayab. Mm. And again, they were featured on the mm -hmm. Grace and You Cooking show last year um it's yeah. very excellent i got to try a lot of the recipes when it was <laughs> that we had to take the pictures and then we have sean who did the el dorado rum flambe and um this was exciting again also for me to actually see that it's something simple that you can do with jello and um actually these are just some cinnamon cinnamon sticks that are in there but it's the kind that you can eat it's mm. a breaded cinnamon stick and then we have for march we have a grace creamy mushroom chicken and this was from mopan technical high school so apart from bringing in the schools we try to go countrywide also mm -hmm. so that's for march and then well everyone knows sharon gillett yes. she has been our resident cook for years and we're hoping to have her come back on for 2014. she did the green um, banana curry and tuna mm. wonderful marlene then we have the Grace Lunch and Meat Muffins. You were watching this earlier. You well, said I meat was muffins. Like, meat muffins? <laughs> well, I thought it was regular muffins and I saw meat. No. So here again, um, for the working moms or the working parents, this is something great you can do. And you can actually put this in the kids' lunch box and they can take it with them. So this okay. was from Ligia um, Rosado from here in Belize City. Then we have the Mackison glazed pork chops. And this is going to be one of the featured recipes this morning. It's from Calvert Ooh. Santiago. Ooh. So, yeah, Mackison this have to morning. Look forward to. <laughs> um, and then you flip your calendar. <laughs> 
So we have the Grace Jerk Chicken Pibil. Of course, you all have found out that you can actually put your chicken in the crock pot or the mm -hmm. slow cooker and it makes it Create quick your and own easy. Pibil. Yes, and this is from Lombardo River Roll. And we have the Use Hot Wings. So uh -huh. that's the one that caught my eye, yeah. Orange flavor, so it's actually the used orange that will be a part of this hot wings. And again, this is another recipe that we're featuring this morning. So this morning it's really me. and of course then Crystal can then come and let's exercise <laughs> that out, right? <laughs> so we have the Grace Banana Fosters. This is from Stankrika Ecumenical High School. They submitted the most recipes, like 10 recipes they submitted. Mm -hmm. And what I want to tell people, because it's from the high school, of course, this is actually the non-alcoholic version. Really? But when we were doing it for the cooking show, we added some Eldorado rum to it. I am telling you, Marlene, trust me, that's I, a I great I wasn't dessert. here for that one, was it? Was no, I? you weren't. <laughs> no, Always you weren't. happens. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Grace Corn Beef um, Stuffed Chicken. Mm. This is actually from Patrick Rodriguez. He has his spot right close, right downtown, Next to close Brody's. to Brody's. Yeah. And this is one of his featured um, recipes for the week. So he submitted this recipe. So a lot of times at work, you know, whenever they know that he's cooking it, that is what they want to eat. So you get this recipe. Of course, he has his secret ingredient in his. So you can still <laughs> go on by his area. Then for November, um, something cultural, yes, because we're using the cassava bread. This also came from Sean Quillen, and this is actually just a grease can fish dip. So it's very simple, easy. Mm. The cassava bread, um, I don't know if you know Marlene, is actually just put in the oven. It has butter and some Mahler complete seasoning on there, and it so tastes it's like chips. delicious. Yeah. Yes. So instead of the corn chips and dip, then what we're doing is the cassava, um, baked cassava with the dip. Oh. Very wonderful. And and it's just tuna. You don't have to go out and buy fish. It's just canned actually tuna, it's tuna, and tuna and sardines. Sardines and mackerel. Oh, so mackerel. the three canned fish that um, we carry, we put mm -hmm. in there. And coming on to December, mm -hmm. talking about the oh, dessert, oh. we have the Grace Chocolate Coffee Cake. And this came from Ida Castillo. Mm -hmm. So, Marlene, this is the calendar. We love to know that it's something that people look forward to. We had people coming to the office, and I know the front desk felt so bad because they told them they had to wait until we did the launch today uh -huh. for them to be able to get their calendar. What, is, what has been the response that you've gotten from the show itself? The show, it is very good. I meet some females, they say, um, thank you so very much for involving the men because I was able to tell my husband, see if he can do it, you can do it. <laughs> we also have, um, whenever it is that we bring on like the younger people, it's mm -hmm. very good too because some people are very shy. Yeah. And when, like you see somebody who is young and then they're able to actually come out. Well, Orin has been super great yeah. for um, past years but we want to get more young children involved because there are a lot of things that you can do in the kitchen that doesn't require you having to have to use the stove mm -hmm. or it doesn't require you having to have to cut anything mm -hmm. and even if it is that's the case then you can always get a uh, older Someone brother to or sister to, to assist you but if you start young Marlene I think when you get to um, older age then you don't fear the kitchen mm -hmm. it's, it's it's more fun for you to be there um, also I have some people who say whenever they're having a house party yeah. and they want something new they want something creative but yeah. they don't want to go out and have to spend a lot of money or they don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen yeah. so remember whatever it is that we have on the show we also um, put on our website uh -huh. gracecanadabilities.com and, and you our guys have recipe, a YouTube channel, right? We do YouTube. We have a recipe website also, which is gracerecipes.com. And mm -hmm. we actually translate in Spanish, graceresetas.com. So you Ooh. cannot say that if you don't know what you're going <laughs> to cook at any day, that you cannot go online and be able to find a wonderful recipe from Grace. What I love about uh, the cooking show is especially, I mean, if you want to try out something new and you look for a recipe online, a lot of times you can't get the ingredients here mm -hmm, in Belize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When we have uh, Grace and you, they're using all the yes. Grace products yes. that are for sale here. So mm -hmm. I never have to worry about going into the supermarket and not being able to find mm -hmm. 
the ingredients I need. Mm -hmm. So if it's going to be used hot wings, <laughs> I know I'll get my use <laughs> and everything else to be able to make, make it properly. Another thing we also try to do is, like I say, we understand that people are very busy. Yeah. We, have, um, so we have a lot of single dads now. I learned that from dealing with the cooking show. Yeah. And um, even with that, it's for us to be able to say, like, if you only have 15 minutes, we have a lot of things that you, you can, can do, do in 15 minutes. And whatever recipe we have, people are able to comment, oh, I tried this and I added this. And I'm excited about that because I know that it is that we're offering people something that is exciting and we get feedback from them. Because any recipe that you have, I mean, we say, if you want more onions, put more onions. If you want more garlic, put more garlic. We're not more telling pepper, you. put more pepper. <laughs> yes, and for you, add more cheese, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's our calendar for this year. Like I said, um, the numbers are streaming at the bottom of your screen where you can text in and be able to get your, make sure you get your Grace Creative Cooking Calendar for 2014. And I also want to point out on the calendar yes. side, True to form with all your other uh, cooking <laughs> calendars. Yes, we have the dates for open your mm -hmm. eyes because Grace uh, Grace and you is featured every other week, so uh, you will always know when you can tune in to be able to find Grace and you cooking show on open your eyes. Yes, now on Friday Fridays. mornings. Yes. And actually, Marlene, those are all the dates from last year. Yeah, the same dates? The same dates. I was like, you know, because my graphic designer, Jamil Laskat, he was like, Trudy, do you have the dates correct? I'm like, let me go and check because I wouldn't want to print the wrong yeah. thing. But they're all the same dates. Because we shifted one day. From, yes, we shifted a day. So, like I said, Marlene, I'm excited about this year. I already have shows lined up from mm. now until the end of February. People meet me and they're like, <laughs> I want to be on the show. And I'm really excited. Then there's some people, I have a recipe, but I don't want to go because I'm, I don't want to be in front of the camera, and we're okay with that. We always make sure that we give credit to the person who, who is actually giving the recipe. Yeah. But this year, Marlene, I'm hoping that we will actually get a recipe from you. Ooh. We're going to have you. <laughs> have I don't you know. Featured. I, 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 I <laughs> I go in my kitchen and I sample stuff. I just don't know if I want to share it with everybody. <laughs> well, that's your challenge for 2014 then, Marlene. Well, I think 2014 is the year we'll have to have a mini cook-off. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Sounds, <laughs> sounds very great. So, like I said, um, apart from that, of course, we're doing a lot of other things. We okay. have our social media. Mm -hmm. And um, Alberto asked me, he said, Trudy, I want you to do something for social media okay. this morning. <laughs> so, what I want to do is I want to give away 20 Grace 100% Colombian coffee, the mm -hmm. 50 grams and I will give that to the the first 20 persons that actually um, log on to our Facebook and say I love grace that's okay as easy as that you All get you do <laughs> is jump online I love grace and the first 20 persons will get themselves uh, 50 grams and the page is grace Kennedy Belize yes grace okay. Kennedy Belize for our Facebook um, page so um, apart from that, Marlene, like I said, for Spanish recipes, you can go to graceresetas.com. Mm -hmm. For other recipes, graceresipes.com. And I look forward to an excellent 2014. Anyone who is interested in, in being a part of the Grace and You cooking show, you can just check the calendar or, or go online and see the dates. If you're interested, you can feel free to just call Grace Kennedy. Um, mm -hmm. I cannot remember the number now, but it's so <laughs> easy for you to get. And you can just let me know and we will fit you in we try as much as possible to get people from countrywide mm -hmm. uh, because we want different flavors mm -hmm. and like I said men women children we're open because right. we want to make it exciting and when you're featured it feels good you know yeah. so so uh, one more time let's go through those numbers so if you want a calendar yes you have to text in to these particular numbers so let's yes. go through those one more time and we'll put them up on screen okay for digicel it's 10 10 2, 9, 3. so you just put Gra grace creative calendar 2014 in the body of your text and you text it to 10 10 2, 9, 3. and for smart customers it's four seven two two three so if you're a smart customer four seven two two three so 
of course, we know we have a repeat this evening. Yes. So as long as you text this morning or this evening or throughout the day, you will be able to get your calendar. We'll give you a call to find out where it is that you are mm -hmm. and we'll get your calendar to you. Remember, limited quantities. And I yes. want to say thanks to everyone who contributed to getting this calendar out and ready for the beginning of the year. All right. Awesome. Well, Trudy, uh, I want to thank you for joining us, giving us the details behind the calendar. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, our next step is to move into the Grace and New Kitchen. Yes, we have Marcelo us. Blake. Ah. And he ended off last year he and did, starting yeah. off this year. And we also have Lourdes, who is featured on the cover. Mm -hmm. She will also be there. So, so we'll be making Yes Hot Wings. And Mackeson Pork Chops. All right. All right, Marcelo and Lourdes, I will see you in a few. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, Trudy, Thank and uh, the best for 2014, of course. Thank you, and same to you, Marlene. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, it's for Grace and you, so stay tuned.